is Molly Biliwaja, and today I'm going to be walking you through my app, Toy Exchange. So my app is actually the solution to the problem of kids' constant need for new toys, which can cause a burden to their parents, as they have to store those toys, they have to pay for those toys, and also it's just a huge waste because most kids end up being bored with those toys in just a couple of weeks. So this app is actually a place where parents can network in order to exchange their kids' toys when their kids, you know, get bored of them, rather than just tossing them out and simply buying new ones. All right. All right, so how does my app work exactly? Well, my app gives you two options of either exchanging a toy or donating your toy. So as you can see on the left hand side, the top left is your profile. You can switch out your profile icon, but this is just my name and a Mickey Mouse. Um, also down here, you will see home, donate your notifications, which update every time someone sends you a message. Messages, bookmarks, which you can utilize in order to save uh, specific toys that you would like to archive settings and toy posting so if you would like to post a toy you just click on toy posting and it takes you to create a toy listing up here in which you can create a toy listing for any toy such as a doll and you can go ahead and post that uh, also up here um, you can filter through toys such as if you are looking for a barbie dream house in particular uh, you can go ahead and find that or if you want to filter by location you can also do that through here so your middle feed place is where the exchange actually happens. For example, Kendall over here has a Barbie dream house that he is looking to exchange for any type of play kitchen set for his daughter. So you can see the 10 comments, you can see when it was posted, how long ago it was posted, and you can see what he is putting up for exchange, a picture of that. Down here is Linda, who posted in Phoenix, Arizona one day ago, and she is actually looking to not exchange, but donate a bike. And she gives more information about that and says that you can reach out to her via messages. And your messages is going to be on your right. As you can see, Donald has already reached out that he is interested in your toy, and Linda is looking to arrange a pickup for the bike. You can filter through these messages in particular if you're looking for someone as well through the search bar. So my plans for this app is to actually enhance it by creating a more interactive um, application through, well, obviously for setting up the login page so that is actually usable through a Firebase app, um, through a Firebase interface where I can store both the user and the backend information. Additionally, I would like to use a more advanced code such as Python to make this app more streamlined because I'm using HTML and CSS plus for and style CSS for this web-based application. However, I would like for these messages to be more functional and more interactive. However, through Python and Firebase, I can actually make this app a much more usable experience, which is um, very easy to connect to all the styling that I have already done. All right, so that is my app. Now let's look at the code for my app. So here's the code for my app. As you can see, it's HTML and CSS, and these are just the images on this side. So with HTML, I started with the body, and I created containers for my, uh, for my separate, like uh, the navigation tab up there, this container on the left, container in the middle, and the container on the right. So I created a class for the container so I wouldn't have to continue editing over and over, I could just refer back to class container. I created a class for the logo in which my app toy exchange was born. Um, this is how I created the search bar. So yeah, here's like, for example, my class container for the class left where it's the profile and the profile photos and the handles. That is exactly what is on the left side here. And so basically what I did was I split up my classes, my containers by class left, class middle, and class right. That is how I was able to categorize these three different sections of my web-based app. Um, this is my sidebar in which uh, all of these contents are created. Um, and then additionally over here, this is how I create the notifications through the notification pop-ups, the profile pictures, um, 
are all connected through that too, which is all done through a class-based system, so I don't have to continue editing over and over again. I can just refer back to the same class. This is again class middle with all of the feeds and the users and the profile pictures and the uh, text down here, all in class middle. And I repeated that again for Linda for class middle. Class right is for the messages, and this is how I created my messages. I created categories. Um, I created a class category for my messages so that I could uh, continue to reference that class instead of obviously, you know, re rewriting code over and over, which is why for my code it was very important to have a lot of different classes. It does look like there are a lot of different classes here. However, all of these classes serve a function for me, so I am being as efficient as possible with my code. And so then I did a lot of styling in style CSS to my uh, regular index HTML code in which I, you know, imported fonts from a different Montessorat and then I, you know, did the width, the aspect, border radius for a lot of different things, the text, colors. I formatted all my search bars, my containers, the left container, middle container, and right container how I formatted my feed on style CSS and overall uh, style CSS was also a very big part of this project in order to create this format that it is in right now. So uh, once again in order to advance my app further I would like to incorporate Python and also Firebase in order to actually create a much more interactive interface. However right now I am very pleased with what I have and I am very excited to continue working on this in the future in order to actually help solve this problem of the constant need for new toys when we can just exchange toys in general. And this actually came about from my last application in which I created, uh, in the last Congressional App Challenge, I created a application known as My Wish for My Community, which it was just a volunteer platform which is over here and right now it's a, a certified 501c3 organization and we have done a lot of work in our community so I'm very happy about that and I want to make toy exchange an extension of that so when people donate they can donate to my wish for my community who can actually handle the distribution of all of these toys and get them to the proper places uh, in which kids need those toys to be distributed to them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I truly hope you enjoyed this app as much as I do. I know that this has the potential to solve so many different issues at once, such as um, climate change with all the waste that is being produced, this app and just simply exchanging toys rather than tossing them out can make a big impact on the amount of waste that is produced and also the expenditure that parents have to pay for toy related activities. This can definitely lower the burden for parents and also bring a smile to a little child's face with a new toy. So this is my app and I am very excited to continue working on it and advancing it in the future. Thank you.